Yeah, three really tough teams. Uh, it's going to be a, a good challenge against all of them, uh, and three three teams that like have a good uh, home support. So uh, looking forward to playing here and the Celtic fans showing who has the best home support. Who are you looking forward to playing most out of the three teams final, Lazio and Atletico Madrid? I think like Atletico Madrid, maybe because like they have some recent uh, good recent history in the Champions League with getting into the final and uh, being close to win it. So I would I would say them. Yeah, we're gonna be playing against some world class forwards, you know, it's people like Chao Felix, Depay and Chiro Mobley. Um is that something you're looking forward to for your own you know, development and experience in football? Yeah, of course. Uh, you play football to play against the best, and now um, I got a great opportunity to do so in the Champions League. So it's gonna be it's gonna be a good challenge, but I look forward to it. You faced final back in 2021. How will that affect your mindset going into the game? Um, hopefully good. Like I know uh, how it is there, the things around the locker room and and the atmosphere. So hopefully I can be a bit more prepared. Uh, than I would be if I haven't played them before. Uh, yeah, and they, they have great atmosphere there. And uh, yeah, so looking forward to that game also. Celtic announced that Matt Phillips today has also won the Champions League for Liverpool. How excited are you to go alongside him in these big matches? Yeah, it's going to yeah, it's gonna be a great addition to the squad with his experience from the, from the Champions League. Getting far. Um, saw him in practice today and he, he, looks, he looks like a really good player. Um, so I think we have a, a good uh, competitive squad with, with lots of good players and now uh, it feels like every day and every training we get to know each other better. We have a lot of new players and, and it feels like it's been a lot of improvements just like since I got here, um, just for everyone getting to know each other. Uh, so I think uh, NAF will be a good uh, addition to the squad. How big were these Champions League nights and a drawing factor to bring you to Celtic? Is that something that was a main factor for you? Yeah, it was. It was a big factor. Uh, these games, like playing against the best best teams, and uh, and uh, show ourselves, show how good we are. Hopefully, get points and and get through to the next stage. Hi there. How excited are you for Sunday being your first every match? Really excited. Yeah, I look forward to it. Uh, from everything I heard uh, from from the other guys in the team, it yeah, they said it's a great experience, and hopefully we can we can get a result there. Okay, yeah. We've managed to avoid a lot of the really really tough teams in the Champions League, like Real Madrid and that kind of thing. How far do you think we can actually get in those competitions? You know, what what sort of realistic target at this stage? Yeah, I think uh, for me personally, and I'm sure the team feels so also that like. When you're in a competition, the goal is always to win it, but you can always only take one game at a time, uh, and then so our first first goal is is going to be get through to the to the knockout stages. Uh, so yeah, that's that's our first goal, uh, and I think like if we do everything we can, we hopefully we get there. So yeah, that's our goal. Have the players given you an indication of what what it's like to play in a champion? Uh, yeah, they told me about it, and I've seen some clips on YouTube also, uh, and it looks great. I got a little taste of it this uh, Saturday. And, like, the atmosphere was, was crazy just then, so I can imagine how it is on, on European nights. Um, how are you and the players um, going to cope on Sunday without any Celtic fans there? Is there anything that you've spoken about as a, as a group? It's going to be tough. Uh, we always uh, want the support from our fans. Uh, but I think yeah, that will be a moment where we really have to stick together as a team, just giving each other energy when, when the fans can't do it. Um, just pushing each other and uh, yeah, really playing as a team together, then I think we can, can get a good result at Agrox. Yeah, you've obviously been here for a couple of weeks now. How have you settled into this squad and has there any, been anyone that's maybe made it a bit easier for you in the dressing room? Uh, I think I've, uh, everything has been happening very fast, but, but the guys in the locker room and, and the staff are really welcoming, so it's, 
I was settling much faster than I thought I would, and uh, yeah, all all of the players have have been helpful. But of course, it's it's nice to have um, the likes of Odin and uh, and Siad who I can talk Swedish to and like get some inside inside uh, tips from. But like the whole squad has been amazing, and I've 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 had really welcome these these two weeks.